All right, here we are in Yorkville. Check out this alleyway. I'm gonna. This was alleyway was closed for a while, but let's check this. Uh, some advertising, some painting on a wall. Famous cafe here. Forget what his name is now. Can't be that famous then. Ooh, we got music, rocking and blasting. Fancy boutiques here. Very original. Oh, expensive clothing. Huh? Very good. This one is like closed. Definitely closed. It's kind of jewelry. Maybe selling jewelry or bust of uh, people. I look back on this wall and definitely music's coming up from there. Happening, happening. I don't know what this guy saw. Stuff that smells good probably. We got a patio happening. More jewelry store here. Rolex. We got Rolex watches here. Nice. There's another Rolex uh, store on Bloor Street that's never have anything on this place. I guess they're all here. People having uh, bread and wine. A lingerie store, is it? Could be. Oh, this one is a lingerie store. Don't ask me how I know stuff like that, but I look back on this. Wanja uh, Pool, that's a good patio. The music is kind of like, maybe it's coming from there, I don't know. The music is kind of annoying. You want to have a nice lunch? We're open, but we're uh, closed and locked up. This is new here. This construction was new. It's all used to be able to see inside, but I guess they uh, put a wall and that kind of stuff. More patios that's not set up yet for the season. Uh -huh. uh, definitely, definitely, this is uh, definitely a new, new happening. More decorations, a restaurant. So this is the famous alleyway of uh, Yorkville that connects uh, Yorkville to Cumberland Street and it's uh, a fun place it used to be a lot more fun in the 80s we got a bicyclist on the sidewalk yeah why not right at that thing on a sidewalk what a beautiful day sunny probably 18 to 20 degrees Celsius definitely a t-shirt t-shirt weather all right, let's not get killed here. Are you guys gonna kill me? No, okay, no racing. Film mission is crossing the road. I wanna go to this mall back here. There's another alleyway back here. I'm gonna go to this mall and uh, check out the situation there. Another patio happening. There's some cool, that's a cool building right there. I'm experimenting with different color on the camera. I've got the color on desaturated color so I can mess around with it later on. We'll see how that goes, if it goes good or not. Looking back. Those guys, they're waiting for a big party. It's about 12 people on that thing. I don't know what that is. No, we're looking for another alleyway to Whole Foods. Where Whole Foods is through that mall and then maybe I'll go in Whole Foods and check out the prices depending on how much time I have. Uh, maybe not, oh, there it is. Is that, a, yeah, this is another alleyway here. Every store here is, uh, they're getting more and more of these security things. It's an art store. Look at that painting. A million dollars a show. It's like a fine art stores here. Very fancy, very fancy, yes. Film mission in the fancy spots. These uh, glass are not protected, so they don't put anything expensive behind there. So we've got this happening. I like this area. I've filmed this area before. I filmed this area before. Let's go this way this time. Very fancy and underused. You'd think there'd be a bar here or something and they put a patio here. Can you visualize the patio here? Maybe a singer, soft music, you know, some uh, coffee or something station, but no. Oh. Oh, there is a there's a place here oh, and then this place is empty too huge huge can we get there no this is a residence oh, let's go upstairs I got the phone ringing again I don't know who that is Anna oh. Anna you're too late I was in Yorkville I said Anna if you want to come you say hi but she was in a swimming pool. Oh, 
on filming. Beautiful. Look at this. This is a cool ba patio balcony up there. And yeah, this is like totally underused area. We started coming from there, right? So let's go in here. Pull. Ready? <coughs> now we're in the mall. A fancy mall, huh? Super fancy mall here. This used to be a coffee shop. Five o'clock. This, this guy's are selling uh, winter jackets. What the hell? Everything is really, yeah, look, that's a... All right, if you're looking for winter jackets, Yorkville is the place to go. That's what else is here. There used to be a food court down there, still there, yeah, yeah. Well, there didn't used to be any seats down there, but now there are two seats improving quite a bit last time i came here there were no seats there let's check out some of these outfits flowery and uh yeah if you're looking for well, i guess uh everything's super flowery hawaii that looks like a magnum pi shirt if you know who magnum pi is oh well then uh, and these guys are closed magnum pi the famous 1970s 80s uh rock show on TV, private eye. Still always very uh, funky clothes like that. This used to be an art gallery last time I was here. Now they've given up on that. This used to be closed for a long time. Now they got plastic, um, plastic around it. Oh, that whole section is closed. Very good, this shoe store is still happening. Let's see what kind of shoes they got. They got sales, and you got the, that kind of thing. You got the women's uh, stylish. I like them. Not so high heels. This used to be a cool coffee shop at some point. And there was this guy's established in 1964. Wow. You think they've been here since 1964? I don't think this mall's that long. I think the company's been, right? Look at the funky. Look at the seats. Whoa. It's like a beautiful background. You can totally do photography. They're all white. This is a massive coffee shop. Oh, there's another one closed. Another closed. I don't know what this used to be, but. That's close. This, there used to be another shop here that used to be open and then closed and then it's open again. Okay. Yeah, so this was, whatever this was, I believe it was closed last time. So they opened this. This has got to be new. If you want to wear pajamas, can you see? If you want to wear pajamas for uh, mismatched clothing, this is the shop for you. If you want to look kind of odd, that's the way to go. There you go. It looks like you're not sure if you want to go to bed. Oh, you want to go party? Can you see the reflection? No. Anyway, you got hospital color pants with a dark blue jacket and a kind of a scarf. Oh, I mean, Palestinian scarf is in style right now. These guys are wearing, oh, this is all closed. If you want to wear a scarf, you got to wear the Palestinian because that's the style now, Palestinian attire, not uh, random stuff. That's for Whole Foods down there. It looks pretty busy. I guess the... The Loblaws boycott is working. Everybody's coming and shopping at Whole Foods. Because <laughs> probably Whole Foods is a lot cheaper than uh, uh, Loblaws. People are like, shit, you know, we're going to boycott it. Another one closed? Yeah, this one's already closed when we started filming. So it's okay, it can be closed. Uh, Loblaw prices were so expensive that when people found out they can shop at Whole Foods, they thought, shit, Whole Foods is cheaper than Loblaws. Whoa. Okay, we're going to end up on that street and look at this place. Okay, this has got nice color pants. You got color shorts all that back there. Yellows and pinks and yeah, the kind of stuff that uh, hard to keep wearing. You wear pink shorts one day, you got to change it the next day. You can't even wear that anymore for like next week or so. Because what's up with everybody selling winter jackets in the beginning of summer? It's got a mask too or it's got no face. There's no face. What's up with selling all these winter jackets, guys? You know, and warm clothes like that, like sweaters and stuff? can be can be yeah you wear funky clothes like that colorful clothes you can't wear it you can only wear it once after that you know you kind of look odd uh, push pull uh, uh, my god push pull oh this one pull or push i'm gonna go for push there you go there you go no problem have a nice day all right so back on i don't know what street is this we're lost in a city yeah if you wear nice pants like blues or you know, dark colors. You can wear it, you can get away from wearing it often. 
But if you're wearing orange or funky colors like that, you really can't wear it more than once a season or once or twice. Unless you have different types of friends, which most people don't. Most people hang out with the same group of people, especially in Toronto, because there's not that many people around. Here are the parking rates. 30 minutes, $4. There's no way you're gonna park there in 30 minutes. By the time you park and you come out, you're at least over 30 minutes. More funky clothes here with a cool background. I like the background there. Yeah, if you wear that thing on your head and that, uh, I don't know. And some wedding dresses, wow. Kind of depressing. I like the background and they got some uh, art, the pop art, you know. Kind of, uh, I'm not my, my favorite kind of thing. Not really. But, uh, you know, what you do with this art is you use what people like, you know, people, images people have already seen and they're used to it. So they're predisposed to it. You just stick them all together and everybody's gonna love it. Especially, you know, you got like a, images and words that are, you know, and then you got one of these, you know. I mean, the thing with these art kind of artists, can you see me in the, the kind of thing, the good thing with this kind of art is that you can uh, stick it on any white wall and it'll give it a color and you make it look good. So it doesn't matter what it looks good or what it means. It doesn't have to mean anything. You put that on a, on a white wall. Let's say you have a white wall in your office or something, you stick that in, it makes a place look good. And it doesn't mean anything. So nobody's gonna get offended, right? Like if you put a photograph of something, like an artsy black and white photograph, you're always gonna have somebody coming in and complaining, saying, well, that means this, that means that, you know, like why do you have a picture of an old man? You, So when you have a, like BS art, like with a bunch of colors, it looks good. And especially if you pay a lot of money for it, if you, you know, spend like a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, then it kind of makes it worthwhile because like, hey, this is an expensive art and it really doesn't mean anything and nobody's going to get offended. That's why they have those art shops here. And it works good, very good. And as an artist, you look at it, you're like, nah, boring. But as a consumer, it works. It's like a product, you know, like, Stick it on your office, people coming in your lobby, your law firm. You don't want to piss people off. Imagine you have some of my art on your wall. Huh. You're going to piss 99% of the people, clients. And that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to walk somewhere on this gorgeous day. Back to Yorkville. All right, I'm going to head back to St. George, probably. Thanks for watching. It's going to be a new condo here sooner or later hi they're filming us we're filming them i'm gonna catch you guys in the next film wow toronto wow what a beautiful it's windy too it's beautiful hot sunny and a bit of wind love it all right let's cross here catch you guys in the next film